Hi, my name is Jim Jasinski. I'm with Ohio State University Extension, the Integrated Pest Management Program, and today I want to show you how to set up and take down a spotted wing Drosophila trap. So in front of me are all the pieces that you're going to need. Um, this big black tote is really handy for carrying all these small parts and pieces into the field and out of the field. What we have here is a jug of apple cider vinegar. We have a collection vessel to capture all the waste vinegar that comes off the trap. A little bit of uh, detergent here to help drown uh, the flies in uh, the vinegar. This is the actual trap itself. It's got a red stripe around the bottom. It's got a detachable top. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of mesh that goes around uh, the middle of the trap. There's actually holes that are in here to allow the apple cider vinegar vapor to come out and attract the insects. Next we have a little bit of ethanol. We use that to uh, wash the insects out of the trap and to store them. We have a funnel. Uh, this is the actual vial that will put the specimens in. We need a strainer, a small paintbrush, and a pencil. So with all those pieces, uh, you should be able to successfully um, put a trap out and check it uh, without any issues at all. Okay, we're all set up to uh, deploy this trap out in the field. Uh, that might be a raspberry field, might be a blueberry field, might be a vineyard, uh, whatever you have, that'll be just fine. So the first thing we need to do is to take the top off of the trap, it just unscrews off, and then we're gonna pour about an inch or so of apple cider vinegar down into the trap itself. That's fine. And now we'll actually take a little bit of dish detergent and just put a tiny drop inside there to break the surface tension of the vinegar. When that's all done, we put the top of the trap back on and now the trap is ready to be put into the canopy. Uh, so you want to put this right in where the vegetation is um, you would notice that these holes in the front, they want to be facing out. Don't have them into the crop, have them facing out of the crop. That's all it takes to assemble the trap. You'll leave it in uh, the field for a week, you'll come back and check it, and then we'll show you the uh, instructions for getting the insects out of the trap. Okay, so the trap has been in the field for a week, and now we want to check to see what's inside. Um, so we pull it out of the canopy, and um, what we're going to do is then pull all the fluid that's in here along with any ins insects that we captured um, into this waste jar, intercepting the insects with this sieve right here. So we'll go ahead and take the top off of the waste jar. We'll put the funnel there. We'll take the top off of the trap. And now you want to be sure when you pour this mixture that you have the holes facing upwards so the mixture doesn't go through those and all over the, all over the ground. So you grab our sieve, we check to make sure our holes are aligned, and we'll just dump all the insects and the liquid right into the sieve, right into the waste jar. Okay, there still may be some bugs in here, but we'll just set this down for now. And now all of the insects we want should be captured inside the sieve. So what we'll do is we'll take the funnel, we'll move it over to our vial, Move the waste jug out of the way, put the top back on it. We're done with that for right now. So if the bugs are in here, we want to reach over and grab our little paintbrush and gently brush all of those insects into the funnel. Then we can put uh, the sieve down. We can grab the jar and anything that's left inside the jar, we can fish in here with the paintbrush, bring them down, and then dump those also into the funnel. Now if there are any insects that are caught on the inside of the funnel, we'll now use the squirt bottle, and we'll go ahead and squirt all those down right inside of the vial itself. Okay, when that's done, we put the alcohol down, we put the paintbrush down, we take the funnel out, we put the cap onto the vial. Now here's the very most, uh, here's a very important step that we wanna make sure that we do. After we put this top on here, you wanna be able to label this. So if there's not a label on the top or on the side, uh, you wanna put one on there and then put uh, this information at least 
uh, put at least the farm name, uh, put the crop, put a trap designation, and put the date. Those things will all be very important later on as we go through the sample and try to detect if there's any spotted wing drosophila actually in the mixture. Um, all these products then go back in your little tote here and uh, you should be able to then replenish the trap, put it back out in the field and come back and check it in a week. So hopefully that gives you all the information you need in terms of deploying the trap and then also checking the trap. Take a look at making sure what's in there, maybe get a little bit of a swirl to mix it up and then pour it right uh, just have to imagine there's a raspberry field behind me or a grape field behind me. Oh, that's not a grape field. Let's try it again. <laughs>